Hey dear Poké fans, I'm Wilbertuber and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded my video, but I really do get free time because of my classes. So, as bad as it may sound, videos are going to be scarce. But anyways, let's enjoy the moment and today I'm going to show you the best team of underdogs of Johto. So let's start the video without any further ado and I hope you seriously really enjoy it. Alright, so the first Pokemon that I'm going to build my team around is going to be Houndu, the first ever dark type to be introduced in Pokemon. Now if you look at his stats, they're pretty impressive. Um, it has stats over 500 and it's dark and fire type which is quite the offensive typing. So it can be used as a really good glass cannon on my team. So if you want to know what is a glass cannon, those are Pokemon which are only used for attacking. They cannot take a hit from the other Pokemon. So such a Pokemon is necessary on a team but it should be properly balanced with other types of Pokemon as well. So I think Houndoom should be a great Pokemon to start off my underdog team of Johto and let's move on to the second Pokemon. Alright, so the next Pokemon I'm going to include on my team is going to be Lantern, another really superb Pokemon from the Johto region that I don't see used enough on playthrough teams. It has a fantastic typing which is Water and Electric and it has two weaknesses which are Ground and Grass, one of it, one of which it can cover itself. So Lantern is a really good Pokemon and it covers up most of my weaknesses that my other Pokemon have and having Lantern gives me a bit more viability in even the competitive circuit too. So that is it for my second Pokemon and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next Pokemon on my team is going to be Zatu. Yes, I know it isn't the best flying type in the game but um, it Psychic and flying typing is instrumental in dealing with Houndoom's fighting weakness. Moreover, psychic flying is a rarely seen type and there are very few Pokemon that can counter such a type. So I think Zatu should be the perfect flying type pick and also my fire for the game. And it looks pretty good overall. It's one of the Pokemon that I like. So that also played an influential role in me choosing Zatu over other flying types. So that's done, let's move on to the next. The next Pokemon I am going to put on my team is the fighting type Hitmontop. Wait, 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 wait. I know you are telling me that it's very difficult to obtain. But I did not tell you to use this on a playthrough. Which is why I am not even providing you with move sets of these Pokemon. Because it's better you use um, some really good Pokemon on your team rather than these. So Hitmontop is I think a really good fighting type and I think it's better than Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee because it's not overly banned in either of attack or defense. So it's per a perfectly balanced fighting Pokemon is just what I needed to cover um, Satu's rock type weakness. So the next Pokemon on my team is going to be Fortress. Yes, I know I could have taken Scizor because of the same typing but I thought that would be too OP so I went for Fortress instead. And Fortress is a real defensive Pokemon and I think that's been lacking in my team so far. And Bugasil is also a real defensive typing so I think Fortress should be able to make a good tank for my team. It is only 4 times weak to fire which um, Lantern covers easily and I think it can also deal a decent amount of damage offensively so Fortress should be a great 5th Pokemon to have on your team on a Johto playthrough and I think this is the only one that I'd recommend for you to use on a Johto playthrough. So let's go on and finish our team with the final Pokemon. Alright, so my final Pokemon might be the deadliest of them all, and that is Miltank. Yes, Miltank. I know many of you are starting to have flashbacks, but don't worry, nobody's going to roll you out with that. 
Motang is a really solid Pokemon as you all might have known if you have played any of the Johto games. It could have been the GSC or a GSS. Motang is a solid Pokemon defensively and it's really deadly offensively and it's really tricky to um, beat one. So I think Motang should be the perfect thing to run off my team because the only weakness it has is fighting which is easily covered by Zatu. So I think that should be pretty good enough to sum up my team and that's it for my 6th Pokemon. Alright so here is my team, now tell me what you think about it in the comments and tell me which region should I do next. So that's it for this video and until next time, it's goodbye.